Hey everyone, this is Matt Perez with SolidBox, and today we're going to take a quick test drive of Power Surfacing 2.0. Now, Power Surfacing add on for SolidWorks is a great addition to anybody that needs to make organic, free flowing surfaces or solids, and you can't really do it with the tools that you have available in SolidWorks, or maybe you're just looking for a quicker, easier way to do it. Sub D modeling is very quick, very easy very low time in order to get into it and start modeling. But what I really want to talk about, I really want to focus on is some of the new tools that 2.0 has. Now the main tool or the main tool set that we're going to be looking at is retopologizing. Now this means that you can import certain models or you can take existing geometry directly from SolidWorks, whether it's an imported part like this one, or if it's a native part that you've actually drawn, you have the feature history but you're just looking to maybe add to the geometry, modify what you have in a quicker, easier fashion than going back through your feature tree. Now the one on the screen is basically a coffee cup shape. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a handle to this. And we're gonna take a look at how the retopologizing tools can make this process easier, quicker, and give you more freedom. So as you can see, I've already brought in some reference geometry. And what I have here is a retopologized object. Now we can create a poly from this if we want to, or we can retopologize it and, and do things. The poly is a very handy feature because we can select certain entities and hide them or remove them. Things like features that are on your imported body. If you want to hide them, if you don't want to deal with them, or if you want to fill them in or add different geometry, then the selection set really makes it handy. For us, what we're going to do is pretty simple. We're going to draw some edges. Now by draw edges, I'm just going to take this tool and I'm just going to start drawing these polys on the surface of my reference object. Now, as you can see, it has a pretty good snap feature. And as I start drawing more and more, you can see that it's very quickly and easily snapping. Now, if I rotate this around, what you'll notice is that this is actually constrained to the surface of my part. Now, if I hop out of there, these points, if I move them around, they are stuck on the surface. Now we can change that. We can remove a constraint and then we can start to pull it away if we want to. But in this case, we don't really want to do that. I just wanted to show you that you have that option there. So if you see a vertex and it's pink, that means it has some constraint to it. Now let's take a look at some of the other tools. Now we have this mesh on the surface, which so far all it's doing is copying our geometry. Let's say we want to smooth out the center line here. And now we want to go ahead and start creating that handle. Well, as I'm looking at this, I might want to add maybe just a little bit more in terms of polys, just bring them out over here. So I have a little bit more information to work with. And let's go ahead and start adding some geometry. I'm going to take this face and I'm going to control select this face here. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to bridge them. Now, as I bridge them, lots of tools here, lots of gizmos on the screen, I can pull and push and tweak and pull things out and start to make that handle shape. Once we get to this stage, it doesn't really look very good. It doesn't look like what we want, but we've got some more tools. So again, let's go ahead, make some selections. I'm just gonna grab a few edges. And once I grab these edges, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna smart fill that. Now, as soon as I smart fill that, I'll come to the other side and do the, the same thing to the other side. Now I just need to be sure that I'm selecting the right number of regions, the proper edges, and then I can fill these areas. Now after I filled them, I need to do a little bit of additional work here to make sure that my geometry is good. So these open vertices, I need to connect them because I don't want a face that has more than four sides, ideally. Uh, you can have up to six sides in here, but really you want to make sure that you're working with four sides if possible. Three sides are, are sometimes necessary, especially when you're changing geometry or changing curvature pretty drastically. As you can see, it's a very quick process, just a couple clicks, moving the mouse around and just grabbing all this information and tweaking it the way we want to. So, so far we haven't really changed anything. We haven't added any of our own geometry. We haven't really pushed things or pulled things or done any of that information. We're just sort of getting it into the right shape. All right, so at this stage, we've added our edges, added all the lines. I'm gonna hop out of my control mesh view and I'm gonna hop into what's called the sub D view. Now this is where we're actually viewing the sub D itself. Now we can go ahead and do things like grab these side faces. Let's go ahead and just grab the other side as well. 
and we can push pull we can scale them we can make this handle a little bit wider a little bit thinner we can do things like subdivide the entire model if we need higher resolution then we can do that and we can push and pull and do things like maybe add finger grooves if you know if you need a certain area to bump out and maybe you need this area to to bump in in this area here we can we can pull out you know we can very quickly and easily start adding this information whenever we get to a good point we go ahead and just say okay and this will bring this object into SolidWorks now let's go ahead and let's just show the original body and as you can see here we have a new surface body in this case and we have the original solid body so now we can go ahead and we can start doing things like capping off the surface body making it a solid or we could even work with a solid inside of power surfacing very quick very easy tool set and at any point in time I can hop back in here and I can make changes I can make adjustments if I determine that this handle wasn't in the right place or maybe it's not the right size I can go ahead and just grab certain bits of the information that I need start pulling and pushing them make it a different shape say okay it's gonna hop back into SolidWorks and recreate the surface for me and then again I can show the rest of the geometry and, and take a look at it that way so great great asset to have at your fingertips very quick very easy for you to make these more organic shapes by just pulling pushing doing some you know vertex scaling or moving faces around whatever the case might be so if you guys have any questions, please let us know. Email me, Matt, at mysolidbox.com. Email any of us. We can give you more information and help you get your project started.